Good morning, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Tuesday the 9th of January 2018. Please be sure to visit TradeSingler, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesingler.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, looking at the uh, market stats then, uh, overnight Asian markets, let's start off with that in terms of the market wrap for this morning. Uh, Asian markets still buoyant, the... Um, uh, Chinese markets have actually cooled off a bit now, got trading more or less flat potentially. Uh, the Nikkei is certainly finishing up 0.5% with the USD JPY, certainly getting ground the back of a stronger dollar. Okay, so that's basically where the Asian markets are at. And given the fact that there's still no real weakness uh, coming through, uh, that certainly is a, um, a one to uh, certainly take note of. Ideally, you want a, a potential uh, a weakness ready to show in Asian markets for it to obviously feed through into the European markets. Well, let's see how the market transpires, okay, uh, nevertheless. Now, in terms of uh, economic data out this morning, we've had stronger German data. Uh, German data certainly has been strong this morning, stronger industrial production, trade balance, exports, imports certainly stronger. Uh, French uh, trade balance certainly on the weaker side, okay, so again, cause for concern there slightly, but German obviously data is certainly overshadowing that at present. In terms of the rest of the day, nothing really of any major importance. We've had unemployment numbers from Europe as well, still there, 8.7%. Okay, we are looking uh, towards jolts numbers from the US, and we've got Mr. Kashkari speaking as well, uh, economic optimism. So nothing really of any major, major importance except Mr. Kashkari, and we'll see how that transpires. Now, we do have reports of Mr. Mueller potentially interviewing Mr. Trump, so again, that potential sc scandal comes back. The Russian uh, gate scandal certainly comes back. In terms of the U.S. equities, certainly ripping higher. One could argue that they are severely, severely overextended now, folks. Okay, certainly looking for a retracement. But market continues to defy everything and defy everyone and continues to rip higher. So, again, it's really baffling in terms of this rally and how, how, how far it can sustain itself. Um, last year was obviously on the back of um, tax cuts and now it's about infrastructure. So, let's see how far along this hopium rally can continue without a potential retracement or uh, move backwards now you can see the S&P 500 here as well let's give you an insight into the S&P I mean look at the Dow for example forget the S&P look at the Dow Jones I mean it's uh, certainly uh, on fire okay so certainly very very bullish although I did point a potential doji candle topping top topping tail there or topping pattern there potentially okay in terms of reversal uh, the Nasdaq as well potential double top of the 10 minute chart daily just continues to rip high it's even negating that key diagonal trend line so Again, you just have to respect the price action. This wants to continue to move higher. Uh, how long, how firm, further it can go, there's no limit really. Uh, it's uncharted territory, so it could continue to move higher. Now let's look at our under indices in terms of the German DAX. Then, okay, so this is an index that I'm certainly keeping an eye out for. A uh, daily chart is in there, just crossed above that FIB 75%. So one has to respect that as well. Uh, if obviously we continue to push higher, then you are looking to retest that 13527 level on the daily chart the 10 minute chart this this morning so far we've pushed higher but we've held double top resistance so again bear that in mind as well so you've got an unfilled gap there you've got some multiple unfilled gaps below i mean we've left so many unfilled gaps behind okay the first unfilled gap is at 13320 let's see if we can close that at the moment it's a bear flag on the german dax at the moment let's see how that transpires now the mdax is again back into resistance and therefore one would conclude that the German DAX certainly will be into resistance as well. Moving on to the French CAC, the French CAC certainly has defied uh, everyone so far. Uh, as you can see here, we were certainly retesting uh, the previous high. We've broken far, far, far above the um, FIB 75%. You just have to respect that for now. Again, looking for resistance at 5525, 5538. Okay, I certainly potentially will look to open up a short position here with a small stop loss just above 5540. Uh, on expectations of a reversal on the French CAC, okay. 60 minute chart, French CAC still ripping higher, okay. Uh, you certainly have resistance in this zone here, which is around the 5520 zone, so certainly expect resistance here. Then obviously, you've got 5536, so certainly looking for a reversal, okay, on the French CAC. Let's see if we can get that. In terms of the uh, gap, you've got a gap just below, gap is seen at 5490. Looking for gap fill below, and then obviously looking at 5470. So those are two zones that you'll be potentially targeting on the downside in terms of the French CAC, folks. Okay. In terms of the FTSE 100, again very impressive, but has failed to get past that key resistance level at 6727. So that certainly remains your resistance zone for now. You want this key diagonal trend line? Market has held thus far. 
One could argue for a rising contracting wedge pattern, which is bearish and therefore looking for a reversal down to 7630. So again, look for weakness here. From my perspective, 10 minute chart certainly indicating weakness as well. Daily chart, we are again, uh, it's a bearish engulfing candle yesterday. We're trading within that bearish engulfing candle. Therefore, bears are in control from my perspective. Okay, so that's basically where we stand in terms of European indices. Last but not least, looking at the euro stocks, certainly again has been very impressive. Has actually broken out from the uh, last two days high. Again, very impressive. Daily chart as well, as you can see here, broken out in that key uh, resistance zone. Given the fact that we were in lower lows and lower highs, as you can see, we broke out FIB75, broke out the previous low high, and now we're actually making a potential higher high as well. Now, whether or not we can close a day at that stage, that's a different question altogether. And let's see if that transpires. So very impressive, nevertheless. Okay, European uh, equity still ripping eye on the back of, obviously, uh, stronger German data, but can it last? Especially with the MDAX now eyeing to resistance, where do we go from here? The MDAX is a very, very important index in terms of uh, judging the uh, the German indices. So again, looking for risk aversion there. Also, Euro is into support now. Obviously, we've had a rally, a uh, sell-off from 1.2050 down to 1.19. So again, factor that into the equation as well. So nevertheless, very impressive. Okay. On that note, uh, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Certainly take advantage of the bonus and visit uh, TradeSignal and download the latest app. Goodbye now.